Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't hold all these at the same time. <laughs> okay. Well. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Leslie here, also known as Fresh Lemps, and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would talk about Glossier's Ultra Lip. So there's nine shades, full disclosure, they did send me nine shades, but basically they sent the same shade twice by accident. So I did end up buying one of the shades because the shade that was missing was one I actually wanted. So I was just like, Do you know what, I'm gonna, let me just buy it anyway, this, this is what would happen. They're basically pretty much gifted, they haven't asked me to do a video, they never asked me to post, but I love their products, I love sharing like my thoughts with you guys and also swatches because I know how difficult it is to buy things online, especially when you can't just go to a store and swatch things and see how they look. I just know how tricky it can be to buy stuff online so I hope this helps in some way. It's a little bit about them first, come in this pretty pink packaging. It's very similar to the Generation G lipsticks if you've tried those, it's just pink instead of white. Um, same size, same amount of product, very different in terms of formula but um, in terms of like the size and the type of packaging, it's pretty similar. In terms of the formula, Glossier calls them the cashmere sweatpants of lipstick. So essentially something you can throw on really easily. It's meant to be kind of balmy, but glossy and have pigment, very opposite to what the Generation G lipsticks are, which are like matte and sheer and kind of hard to work with. Um, these are like super glossy, they like glide on. Um, so that's something that's really up my street in terms of like a lipstick formula. And they, I tend to go for more natural shade I like browns neutral pinks I like will love bright reds any kind of red but that's pretty much it in terms of shades so, and you'll notice that as I swatch like what ones that I gravitate towards more so it doesn't smell like anything there's no scent there's no um, there's meant to be no fragrance and that's really nice for anyone that doesn't like fragrance so there is a G embossed onto every lipstick but obviously as soon as you use it that G disappears so I'm gonna start swatching them in the order that they are on the website I just think that's the easiest way to do it so starting with Loose Sight which is a soft peony pink so Loose Sight is kind of my least favourite it's just a bit too light for my lips I definitely could work with it I could use lip liners I could apply it over another lip so next up we have Fate Fate is a watermelon red and it's just really pretty. I love how bright it is, super pigmented. You can definitely layer these, um, but you know, the pigment is there pretty much straight away. Next up we have Caché, which is a walnut brown. It swatches really nicely, but on my lips, I feel like it looks a little bit purpley. I don't reach for it as much as I thought I would, but it is a really pretty shade. I mean, they're, they're all really nice to be honest. The next we have Coop, which is a blood orange, and this is just stunning. Like I said, I like bright reds. I can deal with bright reds and this is gorgeous. Spoiler alert, I like all the reds. All the reds were perfect for me. Then we have Trench, which is a toffee brown, and yeah, this is one of my favorites. This is gorgeous. It's Again, like my kind of shade, I love a brown. It does look different on my lips to how it swatches on my hand, I think, but I really love it. Next up we have Portrait, which is a cherry blossom pink. I don't like bright pinks, but this is beautiful. I think it's because it's kind of like a cross between pink and red, it kind of sits in the middle. I feel like this would work for everyone. It's so gorgeous and then you could just, you could just sheer it out if you don't want it like super bright, but yeah, love this shade. Next we have Vespa which is a rich fuchsia. I mean it's gorgeous, it's not my kind of colour at all. I feel like I would have loved this a few years ago, um, maybe during like fall or autumn I would have, you know, this would be the shade I'd be wearing. I love like pretty plums and like purples. That was like a vibe for me a few years ago but now probably wouldn't wear it. I just, I just can't see myself ever picking up the shade but it is stunning. This is the thing about Glossier in general, I find it really hard not to like their products because they are so well done and they are really beautiful. Sometimes there's some shades where I'm like, mm, I wouldn't wear that but it does look nice. <laughs> so Ember is a deep mauve and again, thought I'd love this. Oh, I, by the way, I do say mauve, not mauve. Um, I'm British, that's how we say it. But um, mauve is kind of purpley I guess and like I said I'm not really into purple at the moment and 
yeah like in the stick though you look at it and you're just like this is going to be the most gorgeous juicy beautiful brown and it's just not the kind of shade that i want but it is pretty last but definitely not least is villa which is a dusty rose and this is my favorite shade of all of them i reach for villa the most it's so easy to wear this is the one that glossier accidentally sent me two of and i'm like great because i love this this is my my favorite shade of the bunch so i'm gonna have two of them i really love the formula of these it's almost like these are a combination of generation g and the vinyl lip which i only had i only had a couple of shades of the vinyl lip but that is super glossy almost too glossy they're like two extremes basically and then the generation g is like really matte i feel like the ultra lip is like the one that sits in the middle of those two and you get yeah it's kind of like it's taking the the parts of all of it you could make it sheer if you want kind of like the generation g but it's got enough pigment that you can really layer it and build it and it's glossy and it's balmy it's so comfortable to wear i mean i think you guys can tell i like it <laughs> i really like the formula would i want more shades maybe one like trench that's darker that doesn't pull too red or blue that's probably the only shade i would want but otherwise i think they've done a really good job there's I feel like that covers quite a lot of people and I guess you could mix and match with the shades, mix them together to get another one if you really, really felt like one was missing. But they're gorgeous, super wearable. I feel like they would suit everyone because you could just very gently pat them on. They are meant to be a bit of a tint and then if you want like full impact you can go for it. But yeah, gorgeous. So always in my videos because i'm reliant on daylight it just the i'll be filming and it completely drops which is not great when you're trying to just watch video and get everything kind of accurate but um i usually prefer daylight because i usually think daylight is how you'd see it in person but but anyway i hope that was helpful if you guys have any suggestions let me know um you know these videos are hopefully to help you guys out when you're buying stuff online or if you're just looking at stuff and you're like oh what does that look like um i yeah i just know for myself that i will run to several videos and i'll try and see things on different skin tones um because especially with lip colors i feel like they look so different because your lip color can be so different and i never usually ask people to subscribe my videos because i know i'm very scatty with videos i can be very inconsistent it's not on purpose i always aim to do a video every week and then uh life just happens but i do want to make youtube more of a priority and i'm really appreciative of those of you that have subscribed yeah you guys are great but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in a new video soon